heart of East Oakland, California, where you'll find Greenman Field. As the saying goes, if you build it, they will come. You're going to meet a very special baseball player today. His name is Leland Clark. Well, I like being down here. My name is Leland, and it's very good. And I enjoy school. My I mean, my sub my favorite subject in school is math and reading. Okay, Leland, uh, my grandson. He is the um, my fourth grandson, and he moved back uh, to Oakland from Clear Lake uh, a year ago, last August 2005, and he has made uh, quite an adjustment uh, sociably and um, family-wise. Uh, he seems to be more stable, uh, made a lot of new friends, uh, schoolwork, he's doing much better. Uh, he does miss the um, countryside part of Clear Lake, whereas he can one, run free. Uh, do a lot of things there, fishing, which he still do here in the city. Uh, since he has been here, we have him uh, have joined the baseball team, uh, the Babe Ruth League, uh, Crowell uh, Knights, that's the team that he's on, the Miners. Uh, he plays left field. He really enjoys baseball. I like baseball. I like helping out my sister with her homework. And I like doing my homework, too. And my sister is right here. I like helping her with her homework. And it is very fun to help her. This is nothing, this is nothing for us, right? Yes. Just like practice, right? Just a, just a dress rehearsal, that's all it is. It's just a dress rehearsal. Let's come out here, let's get some hits, let's make some plays, let's have some fun. Okay, what wins ball games? Defense! What wins ball games? Defense! What wins ball games? Defense! Keep the ball where? In front of you! Keep the man where? In the chest! If you're ready. We first met Leland last year. His cousin actually played for the team, Khalil Ford. And his grandmother always told me that he wanted to play and he had the heart and he wanted to come out and do his best, but never played before. But that's the type of player that we like. That's the type of player we like to mold, get him out here fresh and raw, no skills at all, and start from ground zero and work with that. And that's what we like to do. He came out here, had a ton of heart, and did everything we asked of him, and just showed tremendous, tremendous uh, skill and potential and that's exactly what we love on this team. I like playing baseball. Well, you could get down and catch the ball or do it sky high or just catch it down in the middle in your chest. And you could also like bat and there's right field, home plate, second and third base. I think I might like playing second base or right. It was the last game of the season and Leland was the starter that day and the game was actually tied. And Leland, I'd like for you to meet my other coach. This is Coach Bailey. He's uh, my pitching and uh, infielding coach. What's up, Coach? Um, How you doing? He's telling the story about Leland and the game when it hit against the Dragons. So it was, I believe the score was tied, 6-6. It was, I believe it was tied. I believe the score was tied. It was the last game of the season. Uh, we, had, we had lost to this team before, and Leland was at the plate. And all we knew was that he wasn't scared. I mean, he had the heart of a lion, and that's all you ask of a child, is just come out and just be themselves. And that's who Leland is. He just puts his head down and goes for it. Um, Coach Bailey was on third, had a chat with him, told him how important the situation was, how much we needed him, how much the team was counting on him, and he stepped right in there and did what he had to do. It was probably one of the greatest at-bats of the game because it was a very lengthy at-bat. I mean, he had about at least 10 pitches thrown to him, I would say. And he was fouling pitches off like a major league. I mean, he was really doing his thing. And he had this, this look on his face like, I'm not going to leave this box, this batting box, until my job here is done. And I'll be, all, all things worked out because that young man, he swung that bat like a true champion. And uh, it was a nice ground at the first baseman. Um, but we had a runner on third, I believe. The bases were loaded, bases actually. Bases were loaded. The bases were loaded. Um, and we needed to get a run across. And right before he got up to bat, I usually give kids a sign. I mean, just come get a sign where I want you to bunt, steal, take pictures, or whatever. But before that, I knew the importance. And I knew how bad Leland really, really wanted to get a hit. 
So I pulled them aside. I pull a lot of players aside and really, really talk to them before they get up. Before they get up to bat, just to try and give them as much encouragement as I can. And I was like, Leland, look, I need you to get ahead. You do, okay? We're relying on you. And like Coach said, he, he stepped up. He really, really, really stepped up to the challenge. Yeah! and I giggle about this. Leland is the only player on the team that calls both coaches by our full name. First name. Yeah. First, First name. Last name. Rather than coach, I am Eric Norman. Hi, Eric Norman. And rather than Coach Bailey, <laughs> to Leland, he's Hi, Ronald Bailey, <laughs> which just tickles us to death, just the fact that he just expresses himself the way he wants to. And that's what we nurture out here. I mean, if that's who you are, then be you. Um, he's always respectful. He doesn't say it in a disrespectful manner, but uh, we just appreciate the fact that he's him and he expresses himself the way he needs to and um, you know we'll continue to, to, to nurture that so we'll, we'll see how he, how he works out and I'm sure sky's the limit for that young man, Mr. Leland Clark. <laughs>